What's good everybody, Nate the Producer Beats. Welcome back to another video and welcome to my studio. The studio tour is finally here. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This video is gonna be for pure motivation, pure inspiration. Um, I don't want you guys to think that a lot of this stuff happened overnight. It took a very long time, a lot of savings, a lot of reinvesting, smart purchases and decision making. My studio is actually located in my house. You know, it's really good and convenient for me. It works well for me because I have a family. Um, so I can just get up and get to work whenever you know I really want to and it works very well. Um, a lot of the stuff that I have in here, uh, I'll try my best to link it in the description because a lot of it is kind of old actually, which you'll see in the video. Let's go ahead and get up and uh, get to the tour. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna bring your attention to is the, is the bread and butter, the brain of the operation, which is my PC. Uh, it's custom built, which I built myself a few months ago. Um, the PC I had before this was also custom built by myself, but it, it died on me after about six or seven years. Um, so I took the opportunity to just really make something that would suit my needs. I'm running a Gigabyte Pro board, um, and then also the CPU is a Intel i7 chip, and then the cooler is a Cooler Master um, RGB version, and then I'm also running some G-Skill sticks, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM in total, plenty of power that I need for, for my needs. As far as storage goes, I'm running solid state everything. Um, my operating system, which is Windows, is running off of a Samsung solid state drive, and I also have two additional solid state drives where I'm running my plugins and my sounds and then I also have some Adobe stuff running through there just so I can keep the operating system free and flowing uh, nice and quick. And my desk is just a basic kind of like L-shaped desk that I got off of Ikea. Um, yeah, it was just a super cheap desk that worked well for me. Eventually I want to upgrade it. Um, I really like those output desks so I want to get something similar one day but um, one step at a time. All right, so next thing's gonna be the speakers. Um, these are actually a new addition to my studio. So I'm running the Yamaha HS7s. Um, I really, really love these speakers. I was running the KRK Rocket 5s for about seven or eight years. And sitting directly underneath my speakers are some studio monitor isolation pads. Um, I bought these uh, along with my KRKs a few years ago, but Big, big difference for your studio monitors if you have them on the desktop like me. It just reduces that rattling and helps you get that true sound. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about my MIDI keyboard. This is an OG of the studio. I've had this for about 10 years and I picked it up when I first started um, getting serious into music production. Um, this is the M Audio Axiom 25. I don't even think they sell it anymore. I, I tried looking for it, I couldn't find it. Um, there's some on eBay and they're still going for a pretty price. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the actual PC keyboard for a second. This one is a fairly new uh, addition to the studio as well. Um, I was using just a wired setup for a long, long time and it was like the original keyboard that came with like my family's computer maybe 12 years ago and it was just getting in the way so i decided to upgrade to this guy and it was really cheap actually it was only 20 bucks i believe or 25 something like that but it's really really good quality um it, it it's improved my workflow tremendously and i just love the thing another cool item i have here is the razor mamba wireless mouse uh, this one is also a new addition to the studio. Um, I was using a wired mouse for the longest time and it would, same thing with my keyboard, it just got annoying. Um, this one was actually not too expensive. I believe it was on sale for about 45 bucks, um, but has vastly improved my workflow. RDO interface is the popular Scarlett Focusrite 2i2. Works very well for me. I've had this thing for maybe nine years now. It's incredible. Probably, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably have the same one. A couple things here that's in the background of my videos and you guys are probably like, why does this guy have like a, some preamps and processors and stuff, like why? I actually used to rap. We ain't even dating, but you can get it all. When I started back in the day, like that's how I got into music. So before I even made beats, I used to rap. One day I'm gonna play off some of my, I even have an album, like, it's hilarious, but one day we'll, we'll get to that. So I have the Pro VLA2 and the DBX286S um, processor. Um, pretty good stuff and a good combination here. One thing I wanna show you guys uh, that you don't see on camera is my microphone 
arsenal. Um, I've got the Neumann TLM 102 and then the MXL 4000. This one was like my first microphone that I've ever picked up. Um, so I think it's about maybe eight years old. And this one is fairly new, maybe about four or five years old now, but um, used to rap. So that's why I've got these mics. So it's, it, one day I'll get back to them um, when I'm going to do when I do more original music and start to get some artists going. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys that headphones are the Sony MDR V6 studio monitor headphones. I've had these guys for at least 10 years, the best set of headphones I've ever owned. Um, as you can see, they're a little rough around the edges, but they're durable, they're flat, um, they're true to sound. It helps me with my melodies as far as getting the frequencies close and accurate to my ears. Um, I wouldn't use any other headphones. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the vibes that you guys see in the videos. I feel like this is an important part of, of any studio. I mean, this the vibe gotta be right. So it can put you in a, in a good mood so you can create. So what you're seeing here is a essential oil diffuser. Um, I have several essential oils and I like to switch it up depending on, you know, just how I'm feeling. And uh, some of them really are good for mood boosters. Um, and it's just really a good way to get, you know, some good feeling in, in, in the studio. All right, so next we just have a basic neon sign. Got it off Amazon, very cheap. Uh, just looks good in videos. And of course the lava lamps, man. This one is like an OG. Actually, no, this one is an OG. I've had this one for like eight years. This one's kind of new, but it's just part of the vibe and part of the aura. Um, just try to create a dope atmosphere for myself. Um, and these guys right here are pretty interesting. These little handicrafts here that you see, they're actually from West Africa, uh, from Ghana. That's where my family is from. So on a trip last year, um, last summer actually, it's been a year already that I was on, I was there for a month. Um, I made it a point just to visit some handicraft villages and get a few items that would be dope for the studio. So these are a couple things that I picked up. Even got this little guy up here. Um, it's a pretty dope experience, man. Like just to see the workmanship, uh, I was able to see a lot of these guys uh, working on this stuff and I picked up quite a few things, but uh, yeah. And you know, we got good old Jimmy uh, chilling, watching over. Um, yeah, I don't need to explain that. Y'all know who he is. And another thing I feel like is important to talk about is the, uh, the foam that I have up on the walls. It's not really a proper sound treatment, but it's better than nothing. Um, these are two inch uh, thick foam pads and I just basically have them all over the studio here. And I also have some bass traps, kind of hard to see but bass straps in all the corners of the studio. Um, and then I have some above me, just some one inch thick foam, just to break up some of the reflections on the roof. And my chair is just a GTR racing um, chair. It looks super cool in videos, that's why I really got it. And it's actually, I like the lumbar support on it. Um, it really helps me with my back, but I'm not gonna lie, these aren't the most comfortable chairs in the world. But like I said, for content, it looks super cool and it actually helps me out with the lumbar support. I really like that part of it um, and it's comfortable enough for me. And that's the studio, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video and it's giving you some motivation and some inspiration. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. We are growing at a steady rate and I really appreciate every single one of you guys' support. I'll catch you guys in the next cookup.